Joycel and you are watching Spotlight. Una po sa lahat, gusto ko muna kayong batiin lahat ng happy, happy new year po. Dahil bagong taon, syempre medyo bago rin sa ating pandinig ang ating mapapanood at mapapakinggan ngayon. Bakit? Dahil makakasama po natin ang first ever grand champion ng International Voice Competition noong nakaraang 2017. Siya po ay si kapatid na Ernest Coral. Hello po, Brother Ernest. Hi, sister. How are you? Uh, later po, I will answer that. <laughs> Ayan, di ba? Pero bago po natin siya mga kwentuhan at makausap, ay atin po munang panoorin ang kanyang first live performance para po sa awiting We Must Be Innocent and Pure. We must be innocent and pure as God's own perfect children who live in a world of corruption and sin we must shine among them like stars we must be innocent and pure as God's own perfect children who live in a world of corruption and darkness shine like stars in the sky shine like stars lighting up the sky as you offer them the message of hope if you of Jesus Christ because it will show that my labor and hope will not be wasted will not be wasted this is what the last messenger desired this is the aim of the church administration that the church of christ will at last be saved for to hold on to our election is to take from hold of salvation of salvation of salvation of salvation of salvation Welcome back here on Spotlight. At ngayon ay kasama na po natin ang ating guest na si Brother Ernest Quarles. Hi, Brother. Hi, Sister. How are you? Whew, this is it. <laughs> First of all, I just want to ask you a question po. Can you speak in Tagalog po? No, I do not speak any Tagalog. Really? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, thank you so much. We really had fun. At ayan naman naman natin. Okay, okay. Oh, I thought you can speak in Tagalog po. Okay, I will teach you na lang. Okay, great. Okay, I have a set of questions here. It's all about um you. <laughs> it's all about you and of course all about um classical music po. First is kailan ka po nag-start na humanta? 
I actually started. Tiba na kaka intindi siya ng tagalog. I started singing. It's like how come he understands? Oh, yeah. I started singing. Um, actually, very young age. Um, uh, probably I would say six or seven years old. Oh. Um, I I knew how to read, so my parents encouraged me to become a choir member in the church. Mm. Was classical singing is your first choice, po? Actually, I didn't even know what classical music was until maybe, you know, uh, maybe late elementary school. I wasn't really exposed to, uh, well, I, I didn't know what the genres were. It's just, I was ex- always exposed to music. Yes, but. But uh, I didn't know, it's like, oh, there's a difference between, they're, like they're called rock or classical, classical or jazz and things like that. I didn't know yet. Pero paano po na-develop yung voice mo into a classical Actually, I attribute a lot, a lot of it just for my yeah. training in the choir because I didn't really start vo- uh, formal voice lessons until I was in college. Mm-hmm. So my professors um, then, then, my voice teachers then, they were really surprised. They're like, who's your teacher? And I would just sit there in class and go, what do you mean teacher? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and then I just named Marta Pagturo. Really? I'm still in the house, but I'm not going to the classical singing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll be surprised. Maybe it depends. Po. Siguro inborn. Inborn. <laughs> inborn. I mean, I think part of it is the natural talent. But mm-hmm. um, what I learned from, from becoming, uh, from what I learned from uh, being trained classically is that it's something that's learnable. So yeah. as long as uh, the student is willing and they're willing to put the effort into it, it's something that you can that you can actually achieve. Mm-hmm. Ilang years na po kayong um, umaawit ng classical? Um, classical music, I'd say for um, uh, over 10 years now. Wow, really po. Ang galing. But other than classical, do you have any genre? Yes, I actually, I was trained to sing jazz vocal mm-hmm. as well. So I actually started with jazz first, and then I transitioned into, into classical, classical music. music. Yes. What is the difference between um, classical and opera? Actually, opera is a type of classical music, and and the thing mm-hmm. is, uh, I think it's it's a misconception for a lot of people is when they hear the word classical, it's a uh, it's actually a blanket term that we use for a lot of old music like music that's more than a hundred years old <laughs> um but uh it, the the real classical music there's there's uh, different his periods of history of music and if you ever get to learn about it, it's like oh there's not just classical but even before that there's baroque music mm-hmm. and then after the classical era we have what's co- considered romantic music but most of the general public we consider it oh that's all classical, classical. classical. it's all under the classical music that that kind of blanket term oh diba yes. very informative ang ating um interviewhan ngayon dahil si brother ernest po ay isa ring Music teacher, right? Yes, a professor of music. How I've long have you been teaching for? I've been teaching on the college level for about five years now. Five years. And uh, for you know, private studio, private voice and piano lessons, I've been doing for about ten years now. Mm. I'm planning to enroll music. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> great. Yes. No, just kidding. Po. Um, okay, I have a question. Po again. Um, what's the difference of jazz music? and classical music since earlier you said that um classical music is i mean opera is um under the classical music also mm-hmm. how about the jazz and the classical music book so jazz music it's it's much different because it comes at a much later date in history so jazz when we're talking about jazz we're talking about like the period of music uh hmm, uh, after World War One, actually, but uh, it became more popular like in the 1950s and the 1960s. Uh, some of them are, you know, very popular tunes like maybe uh, like Fly Me to the Moon. You probably heard of a singer named Frank Sinatra. Yeah. He's very popular. Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, or Nat King Cole. These, this, those are so. Those are examples of some jazz singers. Um, jazz music is so. I, I guess it, it's a newer type of music, um, but it has a lot of similarities too to classical music because in jazz you're expected to improvise. So that means uh, on the spot you kind of make up a melody or a rhythm and uh, that fits with the whatever the chords that are being played in the music. Earlier you said you're into jazz music, mm-hmm. Can you give us a sample? Po? 
Ah, you gave me a challenge now, huh? Yes. A cappella. A cappella. A cappella. Or if you, you want, I can play for you, po. Oh, sige. Go uh, to the... Oh, pero para no, mas dude. okay. <laughs> since, <laughs> since you invited. No. <laughs> okay, well, I can give you an example of a... Uh, it's called scatting. Uh, so that's when the vocalist kind of just makes up a melody and we use uh, nonsense syllables to kind of imitate in- instruments. Oh. So, uh, let's see. There you go. Whoa. That's a sample. There you go. <laughs> so that's jazz music, but uh, part of it. So that that mm-hmm. would be considered vocal jazz. But a lot of jazz music is purely instrumental. Mm-hmm. So uh, maybe you'll have just a a combo, which is like a band, uh, piano, uh, some kind of bass. So either uh, upright bass. And percussion, so drum set. Mm. And then that, that's like the bare minimum already. Wow. Sobrang enjoy ako sa jazz music. Ah. Nakalimutan ko classical pala tayo. So, babalik po tayo sa classical. How do you differentiate classical singing into other genres of music po? Well, classical singing, um, in a broad sense, mm-hmm. uh, it requires a very high level of skill. So, uh, it, it some, oftentimes you'll get pieces that... Um, that have high demand for the singer so the 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 lowest notes that they can sing as well as the highest pitches that they can sing and uh there's also a, a very deep artistry i mean all music is artistic but with with classical vocal music um let's say i mean there's different genres like you mentioned opera before so so in opera that's um not only are you um required a high degree level of skill as a singer Believe it or not, if you watch an opera, those singers do not have microphones and they have to fill the theater with their voice. Mic in their stomach? <laughs> no, no, Sorry. no microphone in your stomach. Oh, okay, okay. But uh, um, the capa- we, uh, we train so that we use the full capabilities of the human voice to fill a concert hall, not only to fill that big hall, but you're singing over an orchestra often, oftentimes. Oh, so even your... Even if with your an orchestra, you don't oh, have yes. mic when you're singing. No microphone. So if you watch an opera, and you'll notice there are no microphones for the singers. Wow. Wait, I have another question, Paul. If you're singing classical music, um, do you also know how to play piano? I play. I play just a little bit enough, you know, to practice. Or are you required to to learn how to to play piano? Oh, oh yes. So if you if you study music formally, even the basic. Yes, you oh. have to at least know how to. Um, find your way around the keyboard so you know when you're learning pieces you you yeah. get to uh practice it at on home. your own yes oh makapag-aral lang nga ng piano mamaya <laughs> all right thank you so much for brother ernest napakadami po naming natutunan sa inyo especially about music diba para sa mga kapatid po natin gustong mag-aral ng music soon diba balak po kasi namin enroll yung banda namin dito eh. para hindi lang puro yun at yun yung tinutog <laughs> Thank you so much po. Pero bago po natin ituloy ang ating kwentuhan ay atin po munang mapapanood ang dalawa pang live performances ni Brother Ernest para po sa mga awiting. Remember His goodness and be faithful to the words of God. I remember, I remember days ago When the Father carried me through my walls The Lord is good, the Lord is just is righteous in all things. I remember the kindness of his ways. I remember the abundance of his grace. Oh. 
merciful, he is righteous. Crown of 
of glory for the chosen who follow closely and happiness will find us if his wisdom guides us let us follow his every word heed them well heed them well Welcome back to Spotlight! Okay, Brother Ernest, let's go back to our um, kwentuhan. Sige pa. We will talk about um, your journey na lang po in joining the International Voice Competition last 2017. Ooh, okay. going way back. Okay, yeah. two years. Do you remember? <laughs> Vaguely. No, I do. Yes? Um. Yeah, I remember some of the details. Uh, mm-hmm. we, we received the... The circular back abroad, mm-hmm. back in the U.S., they read the circular about the voice contest. So, of course, since I heard, oh, there's a the voice contest, well, time to join. I'm a singer, yeah. so uh, it's, it's it was open to all the but brethren. But before, you're also joining some um, classical contest, music contest? Not, not or this s- is your first time? Actually, that was my... F- um, that was I my mean that. very first official contest, like big mm-hmm. contest. Uh, most of the time, I, w- I would just, you know, do roles minor roles around around town um auditions like that you know nothing nothing extravagant um but since it was this uh big competition and the very first one f- that the that the, that the church was launching um I, s- I just said to myself hey i have to be part of this i mean come on i'm a singer and i'm a trained singer and this is kind of well it, it's just one of those things that Hey, you got to be part of this activity. It's the first and you're you got to be part of it. Ano po yung mga naging preparations niyo before joining the the contest? Well, before joining the contest, uh I had to look at what the rules were first because mm-hmm. you know, when there's a contest, there's rules. You can't just put whatever uh piece that you want. They had a they had a set uh list of what uh what kind of repertoire, what kind of pieces were eligible. So I had to compare what to that to what the pieces that I already knew. Or maybe would want to learn, um, and it takes it takes some effort because a lot of those pieces are actually in foreign language, and if you're learning pieces in foreign language, what we learn in school for music school is, if you're singing in a foreign language, it has to one, not sound like a foreigner singing the language, and secondly, you have to understand the text. It's very important. So if I. If you're not fluent in those languages, you have to do your research mm-hmm. and your background homework. Pero para nyo po pinili yung um, contest piece nyo that time. Yung winning piece. Oh, the winning pieces. Yeah. Well, I, I there were some Italian pieces that I saw on the list. One of them was in my repertoire already. A uh, piece that I've been working on mm-hmm. uh, f- actually for my graduate recital. So I included that piece. Um yeah, so that that piece actually, uh, Odel Mio Mato Ben, that was one of them. Um, I was I've been working on that for years. So, you know, if you're joining a contest, you want to give the piece that you know the best. That that's a very, very strong piece, a contender. So, yung piece po na, or yung winning piece po na napili nyo is um advantage po for you na sumali dun sa contest kasi you already uh, know it before pa, di ba? Way back. Oh yes, absolutely. You don't. It's 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 kind of like the advice from our teachers and mm-hmm. I mean even those who conduct contests you don't, they want to see that the contestants are presenting material that that is polished and clean and you know 
It's it's like uh, when you watch a sports event mm-hmm. and then you you see like the two teams they're both good. It's very yeah. exciting. That's what that's what that, that's what uh, I know. That's what they also want to see even in music contests. Mm-hmm. So you can't just give a piece that you just learn. It's kind of shaky. That's no fun to listen mm-hmm. to. That's that's how I sound like when I'm learning the piece for the first time. But that's not something I would present for a contest. So you give your you give your best. For a contest. Yes, that's right. Pero nung sumali po kayo, you have your uh, personal coach or voice coach that time? Or yes. you just uh, practice on your own? Well, both. Because uh, at that time, I was in graduate school. Mm-hmm. So I was working on my master's degree. So part of that, I had my own uh, teacher with the university. But of course, you can't just rely on your once a week lesson at yeah. the university. You have to do your practice at home every day. So you're... Oh, yes. So, uh, yeah, at least a little bit every day practice, practice because practice makes perfect. Yes, that's true, Po. That's why we're very thankful to the church administration because we have this kind of um, activities, Po, diba? Oh, yes, absolutely. Especially mm-hmm. um, most of the other contestants, they're very young. Yes. And they're into classical music. So, it. Especially in New York University, oh, right? Yes, You're absolutely. one of the professors. Yes, I'm one of the wow. new professors at New Era. And uh, we have quite a few, um, you know, um, a lot of them are brethren. Mm-hmm. But uh, even just among the Filipino community, there's a lot of people who are interested in Nowadays, studying music. Yeah. And not just contemporary music, mm-hmm. but classical music, too. They're, they're finding, I guess maybe they're bored a little bit of, <laughs> with you know, the, with the modern, with, with the modern music? I mean, or just a little bit. It's like, oh, or that's the it, things that all keep sounding the same. And then you, f- you when you find that new sound, like, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I'll learn more about that. That sounds like something I'm, I might want to learn more about. Okay, thank you so much, Brother Ernest. But before we conclude our interview, can you give us or our brethren some advice um, in joining this kind of activity? Po? Well, first off, when, when we hear about these kind of activities, I think just don't be scared to to participate. Like, oh, I mean, should I do it now? Should I think about it? No, just uh, it's this is your chance. You know, we have these activities set by the church administration, and it's all for our benefit. You know, they're they're seeing the needs, especially uh, of the youth, that we have these special outlets now, uh, or like with the classical music. I got to meet so many other brethren that I would have never otherwise met and bonded with if I didn't join that contest. And now we, now it's been two years, but we have a camaraderie, a brotherhood that was uh, strengthened and built because of the activity of the church administration. So when, the admin, when, we, when we hear about these activities, don't hesitate. Go for it. Do it and join and and make the best make the most out of it because you're going to you you will i guarantee you will, you will meet new brethren you will strengthen uh the brotherhood you will strengthen your faith it's most especially um because it's all in in the in the in the big picture it's all for god's glory right and we you find that common ground and you find that outlet that you can use to serve and glorify God. Yes, that's right po, Brother Ernest. Kaya naman hinihikayat po namin yung ating mga kapatid na may talento na sumali at makipagkaisa po tayo sa lahat ng mga gawain inilulunsan po ng ating pumamahala, di ba? Thank you po ulit. Meron ba kayong gustong batiin or pasalamatan? Oh, first, Greetings, yeah. oh, of course. First off, thank you to the church administration for these opportunities, uh, especially to our dear Executive Minister, Brother Eduardo V. Manalo. Thank you so much po. Because of these uh, artistic outlets, um, we have another means for us, the youth, to strengthen our faith and be united uh, in serving our almighty God. And uh, let's see, who do I want to say hi to? Hello to all the brethren around the world. (laughs) Uh, Shout out to Southeast California. Hi, brethren. I remember you. I didn't forget you. And uh, just to all the brethren, Happy New Year. 
at syempre po nagpapasalamat din po kami sa lahat ng patuloy na sumusuporta at sumusubaybay po sa amin dito sa Spotlight. At inaanyahan din po namin kayong lahat na ilike at i-share ang amin pong official Facebook page na Iglesia Ni Cristo Production Company at mag-subscribe sa amin pong YouTube channel na Iglesia Ni Cristo Production Company para mas lalo po kayong update dito po sa amin sa Spotlight at syempre po sa lahat na aktibidad sa loob ng Iglesia Ni Cristo. Again, happy happy new year din po sa inyong lahat. Thank you so much po. You're very welcome, sister. Pero bago po tayo matapos sa ating episode for today ay mapapanood po muli natin ang isa pang performance mula po kay Brother Ernest para po sa awiting When We Trust in the Father. If someone trusts in the Father The Lord will surely save him. He will answer and shelter him who abides by the words of the Lord. Our God, when someone trusts in the Father, and answer him when trouble comes and he falls and cries out and prays to the mother and he will answer and he will answer in the Father, the Lord will surely save him. He will answer and shelter him who abides by the words of the Lord. He will answer the call of his chosen people. Forever trust in the Father, Trust in the Father, oh, He will give him life eternal. When trouble comes and he cries out, the Lord will save his servant. Forever trust in the Father, forever trust in the Father.